Hi, my name is Ahmed Midhat Al Tamami, Assistant Lecturer in the Department of Orthodontics and Craniofacial Orthopedics, Cairo University, Egypt. It is my pleasure to present our paper, which is published in June 2016 issue. We like to introduce a new concept in bracket positioning depending on complete vision of a tooth rather than only the crown and using computer software in measurements aiming to decrease the errors and the human variation in order to provide precision which benefits both the clinicians and the patients. The title of this Technobyte is three-dimensional imaging for indirect direct bonding. The work was done in collaboration with my mentors, Assistant Professor Fouad Sharabi, Professor Fatim Eid, and Professor Yahya Mustafa, Department of Orthodontics and Craniofacial Orthopedics, Cairo University. Despite different levels of experience of the authors, all agreed on the influence of accurate bracket placement on the efficiency of treatment, and that errors still occur whatever positioning technique implemented. The idea of this article is to use 3D imaging to visualize the tooth rather than a clinical crown together with the 3D software to ensure accurate measurements for precise placement of the brackets on each tooth, considering both the crowns and the roots. We position our brackets considering only the clinical crown, which might be affected by different factors including soft tissue surrounding and anatomical variation. We also use different bracket positioning gauges which might be affected by manual dextry. We try to anticipate the long axis of the tooth in order to achieve proper crown and root alignment. But the question is, why to anticipate when you can see the whole tooth before we place our brackets? 3D imaging softwares enabled us to isolate and separate teeth from their surrounding bone, allowing complete and clear vision of each tooth. By using these softwares, we place an STL image of each bracket on its corresponding tooth. We were able to measure accurately the distance from the incisor edges and cusp tips and aligning the bracket precisely with respect to the long axis of each tooth. Moreover, manipulation of the image and changing its orientation for more enhanced vision of the tooth in a way which is unfeasible by other bracket placement techniques. A virtual tray was tailored to cover both the teeth and the bracket images, which were then subtracted later from the tray. The main reason for that is to obtain a tray with a negative replica of the teeth with their corresponding brackets in their exactly intended position to be ready for 3D printing. The tray wire was 3D printed using polyamide material, then the brackets were inserted in their 3D printed position to form a stereolithographic tray bracket assembly ready for bonding. We can say that evolution of recent imaging techniques and 3D printing technologies enhances our ability to achieve precise bracket positioning. We hope that this technique could be a step in a way to establish a fully automated bracket positioning technique negating all possible human errors that could affect the final treatment outcome. We would like to thank editors of the American Journal for giving us the opportunity to share our idea and I would like to thank you all for watching this video and giving me your time.